Greetings to you out there on Mr. Repsian's channel. If you're already in the Crocoduck Army, which is my affectionate name for my subscribers, you're probably wondering, hey, what's Zonstar doing here? Well, Daniel asked me to fill in while he figures out how to drive a stick shift and talk on camera at the same time. Apparently he's old enough to drive by himself now. Anyway, I gave him a few potential topics to choose from, and I think he chose wisely. I've always been fascinated by advertising and the clever ways in which companies drill their way into your mind to get you to buy their products. Of course, companies aren't the only ones who are trying to get you to spend your money. Religions want you to become a devoted follower and get those donations rolling in too. So how does religion get you to buy their product? Turns out it can be a lot like companies do. Do you ever notice that at the end of a commercial that there's usually some sort of call to action? It's often in the form of a limited time offer, or sale ends Sunday, or order in the next five minutes and get a second Snuggie for free. Religion has a version of that too. It's called the end times. The great part about that little piece of marketing is that you never know exactly when the offer is going to end, but if you don't take the offer before it's too late, you are eternally screwed and you'll never be able to remove that stubborn earwax. Remember, the all-loving God could destroy the world and annihilate every last thing on it any second because of gay people or eating bacon or something like that, so you'd better act fast. Clearly this marketing is working, since it's very easy to find religious people who think the end times are just around the corner. Usually the more cult-like the sect is, the sooner the end is coming. Former Fox News commentator and current right-wing radio nut Glenn Beck mentioned the end times just recently on his show, apparently because of a video of cannibalism in the Syrian civil war. This somehow means that the end times are here, according to him. But then again, he says the same thing about big elections and basically when anything else happens that he thinks is really bad. Every time something really significant happens, some religious people see it as a sign of the end times. It especially happens during wars, natural disasters, and even during times of cultural upheaval. Pat Robertson loves this tactic. If it's scary or complicated, it's easier to just chalk it up to Satan or impending Armageddon, instead of actually delving into the issues surrounding it. And there are plenty in the world who happily continue to do that. Plus, it keeps fearful people showing up at church to fill those donation baskets. One of the biggest mistakes religious leaders make on this topic is predicting a date for the apocalypse. We saw the hilarity that ensues just last year. Even the majority of Christians laugh when someone wanders out onto that very brittle limb. I often ask these Christians why they think it's so silly to name a date, though. After all, I point out, you agree with them that the Earth will meet a specific, horrible, magical fate at the hands of our invisible creator. Isn't the exact date a fairly small detail? Plus, the people who conjure a date usually name it shortly before the date and are ridiculed when they're wrong. Collectively, you've been telling us, well, any time now for thousands of years, without the slightest hint of embarrassment. Yet, here I am in 2013, with the world still around, to enable me to poke a little good-natured fun at you on YouTube. So maybe it's time you took my advice instead. Let's spend less time predicting the future and more time improving it. Thank you.